All right. In the Fair Income Dead Set Department, it is Saturday, which means the weekend's here. If you've got the weekend off, iBackyard IT authorise you to sit down, veg out, relax, catch up with a few videos here at Backyard IT, and just forget about last week. How's that sound? Sound good? Sweet. Glad I could help. <laughs> well, I know. I'm weird. You don't have to be weird or, or abnormal to work in IT, but it does help sometimes. <laughs> G'day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is Saturday. The weekend's here. Just gone 10 to 8 in the morning. Yeah, and uh, got a little bit coming up the channel today, but before we do anything else, and uh, if you've had a big night last night out on the Terps, you're probably going to need one of these. Coffee time. Oh, well, nice. Now, not a real good start to the Saturday morning here already. We've already had a bit of a um, fatal error with the e-server this morning. Um, the D240 storage subsystem, which is the you know the storage tech that runs my Samba shares and OpenBSD and everything for domain A's, decided to throw out a fatal error code. And so... I'm going to show you how to debug that fatal error code. Um, it has happened a couple of times, and sometimes because the D240 gets a little bit, you know, has a bit of a, a shambleization and decides to, um, you know, throw a tantrum. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to debug it and what to do if you do have this fatal error code show up. So that's coming up. Also, we're going to take a look at two more of Jim Acklaw's Linux spins today. Have a sticky beak at them. We'll give them the backyard IT treatment. Also, we've got to start the TV fault find repair video today. We're going to look into that and see if we can get that going, even if we do have to do a bodge job on it. Wouldn't be the first time I've done that to get a TV going, believe me. Um, so that's all good. Um... So a bit coming up, a bit coming up today. Um, now, update on the other half's laptop. She's loving it. It's absolutely flying on Ferrum. Um, I've never seen anything. I, I have not seen a Core i3 under 4 gig of RAM fly as fast on Linux as what I've seen this e-machine fly. Um, we haven't added the final few things that she needs yet because I needed to get comfortable with using it before I start adding to it. But, whoa. It's phenomenally quick. I mean, they're, 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 Linux is quick by nature, but wow, we This thing's flying. So that's really good. Really, really good, I've got to be honest with you. So we've got a little bit coming up today. Um, as I said, we've got an open, we've got an e-server video because we haven't done a lot of videos actually on e the e-server for some time, as I've noticed. A um, couple of Linux things. Also, I'm going to do a product review on a nifty little um, SSH system that I've found for the Mac here. So we're going to have a look at that today too, probably later in the day. Um, we'll have to see how that one pans out. Um, also, uh, the live stream tonight, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, GMT UTC plus 11. And we'll just have another general IT chit chat. So uh, stick around. Now, also, Tanex Optics, you better make, I got your message, mate. You better make sure the V120 is supported by FreeBSD on your version of Open Boot Prompt. All right, be aware of that because I tried to get FreeBSD out on the E server and it wouldn't take it. So check the compatibility first before you go ahead and say I'm going to run FreeBSD. Check the compatibility and check the HCL too. And make sure it's compatible with your version of OBP. Little hint for you, mate. Anyway, stick around. Plenty coming up today. We'll help you through your... Uh, Help you through your Saturday. We shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.